What up, people? Coach V, New Breed Boxing. Tonight, we got a great fight, heavyweight fight, Alexander Usyk versus Anthony Joshua. Now, I'm hearing so many people, which uh, to me, they just sound like casual fans saying Joshua's going to slow, he's going to slaughter him, it's going to be easy work, and they're just going based on the obvious, the size difference, the weight difference, the reach. I understand that goes in, in Joshua's favor, but you got to look beyond that. Look at the amateur backgrounds. I bet on Andy Ruiz to beat Anthony Joshua, the first fight. And the reason why I bet against Joshua is because I had no idea up until that, you know, shortly before that fight. He only had, like, from what, from what I've seen, less than 50 amateur fights. And I, it kind of showed the more I started watching him. He makes a lot of mistakes. He's, you know, basically, like, a, I personally feel like he's an unfinished product. And he's going to have a lot of trouble in the future against better opposition. I think somebody who's a really good boxer can um, can just out finesse him. And if you're a boxer puncher, I don't see Anthony Joshua sticking around against the guy, you know, with that kind of combination. Um, you know, I think he's still, I think he's a good fighter. I just don't think he is. I just think he's a little overrated, to be honest with you. I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me. I like him a lot, and I think he's still young enough to improve. But where he's at right now, I think he's lucky there's not a lot of great opposition out there in his weight division. With that being said, Usyk has, from what I understand, over 330 amateur fights, 335, I think with 15 losses. That's a lot of experience. Even though he is the smaller guy, I still think that experience, it, it, to me, it puts him on a higher level. Um, You know, the betting odds do have Joshua... Winning the fight, I think uh, plus 270 to for Joshua. I mean, excuse me, negative 270 for Joshua to plus 220 for Usek. And the the only my personal prediction I'm gonna tell you is this: I think Usek is gonna win the fight on points and get robbed in a split decision or even a unanimous decision. I just see the the scorecards no matter what. I don't see Joshua um, getting knocked out by Usek. I don't think Usek can put him out, even though I don't think Joshua has a great chin. I just think the size difference is a perfect matchup um, as far as just getting Joshua some time in there with somebody that can big. It'll bring it'll bring his IQ up for sure. You know, I think Usek is going to bring a lot to the table that Joshua hasn't seen before. Smart southpaw, very cerebral fighter. And um, he's going to be faster than Joshua's used to be dealing with, to be honest with you. I don't think Joshua has ever been in the ring with somebody that's going to give him that much volume and speed. Unless Joshua is able to shut him down from the jump. Um, you know, Usek is a, a slow starter. So if I was Joshua, I would just jump on him early, to be honest with you. And uh, try to put the pressure on him and get him out of there. I think the later rounds, Usek is going to start dominating. Um, I think the early rounds, Joshua is going to have the edge. Um, I see him. I see his uppercut getting counted um, by by Usyk's left straight. I see that happening quite often. I see Usyk jabbing the hell out of him. And again, I just think that the judges they go where the money goes. Joshua is going to be, you know, he's going to be around in the heavyweight division for a little bit longer until that next great thing comes along. And uh, I'm going to say Usyk is going to get robbed with a split decision. Tell me what you think. I want to hear your predictions in the comments i'm just going based on my you listen you never know it's still going to be a good fight i'm not saying joshua was a slouch but i'm just being honest with you i feel i, I feel joshua was a little bit overrated i think he's a good boxer but he has a lot to work on still i think Usek is a i think he's a pretty good finished product and you got to keep in mind Usek, regardless of the amount of fights he has if you put the experience in there Usek has an exponentially higher amount of amateur experience but Joshua technically probably has about twice the experience as a professional. And that's going to show as well. You know what I mean? So either way, I think it's going to be a lot closer of a fight than people think. I don't think Joshua is going to run him over. I think Usek is going to find a rhythm at some point in the later rounds. Put up an excellent fight. Get robbed at the end. Tell me what y'all think. Hope you found this informative. Like, subscribe. Go check out my Instagram. Coach.B underscore. Till the next time we out of here. Ow.